Okay, so once again, I'm doing what I said I wasn't going to need to do. <coughs> um, so we got the motor in. Uh, the carbs have issues both sets, so uh, essentially I'm going to combine uh, all, uh, take all eight of them and make four good ones out of them. Um, <coughs> none of the issues are big, but, you know, um, now's a good time to make, you know, perfect carbs out of eight so-so carbs. Um, and as you can see, I've been cleaning up and painting and all the things I said I wasn't going to do until I heard it run. <laughs> but, oh well, it is what it is. Um, the ultrasonic cleaner from Harbor Freight died uh, after just two months. Uh, however, uh, I suspect it was my fault. Uh, I ignored the max fill line a couple of times to uh, fit uh, taller items in there. And anyway, when I... When it died, I, I went to lift it up to see if maybe the, it had come unplugged in the back or something. And, and there was a big puddle of uh, solution underneath. So clearly, um, in taking the parts in or out or something, I managed to get liquid on the motherboard, on the circuit board. So my bad. <clears throat> I have ordered a new one, an, indus an industrial one, on eBay. A 3 liter versus the 2.5 liter. That one's plastic and it's it's cracked in a couple of places already. Um, the uh, but the one coming is supposedly industrial. It's from China, uh, but it's actually a couple dollars less than that, even with shipping. So I figured, you know, it's all stainless steel versus that plastic one. So yeah, I figured it's worth a try because I've got eight carburetors to clean and I need solution to clean them in. Um, I redid the brake calipers. I don't know if you can see them. Probably not. Um, anyway, I go over there, but I'm, we got something in my way right now. But anyway, you could just see I re rebuilt the car, uh, calipers for the brakes. This has a uh, shared brake system. It's really weird. Uh, when you press the back brake, that applies that caliper and that caliper. No, I'm sorry, the other side, the right side caliper. When you press the handbrake, it only applies the left side caliper. Anyway, I'm changing all that. Um, I'm taking the all the brake lines and everything off of this one and putting it on here so I have just normal front brakes. And I'm blocking off. There's two hard lines, one coming from the front and one coming from the rear. I just have to block, get a, a grub screw or something to block off the one coming from the front. And then the back will just operate the back. <clears throat> I usually can tell I clean the gas tank and... I gotta fix this little issue here, which is typical of these bikes. When you run external lights that use a lot of juice, the corrosion in here starts to arc. And you wind up with a melted mess. Interestingly enough, however, on this donor bike, it's in perfect shape. Even with these lights here, which I'm sure used up a ton of juice, there was a radio on here at one time. You can see the antenna there, the antenna mount. Uh, and then there's this little switch here that did not operate these, so it must have operated something else. I'm just not sure what. Uh, I haven't traced the wires yet, so. Uh, and then uh, I picked up this little sandblast thing from Harbor Freight, the Central Pneumatic, for $20 uh, in a little container see the blue container over there it's i don't know quart of blast media and it worked really good it took something like this i made it like that and i only used about half of the container and i did this one and this one um turned out pretty nice actually um i don't know how it looks on camera but it's smooth as silk and it feels clean as you know it feels just like you know regular sandblasting right um However, it does make a bit of a mess. No matter how hard I tried to keep it in that little box, it just went everywhere. You can see. Um, so having said that, I also or, uh, bidded on a bench top sandblasting cabinet. It's, uh, you know, basically two foot by two foot by 20 inches, something like that. <clears throat> I got it for $35. So can't go wrong. Uh, it's uh, used, but it's in... Well, the photos show that it's in really good shape, so I'm hoping it is. Um, 
And uh, I don't do much sandblasting, but when I uh, do, it'd be nice to have an actual cabinet to contain everything. Uh, I also picked up one of those real hose reels uh, from Harbor Freight. $50, I think it was. Works really good. I I'm happy with it. Um, and then I um, also picked up this here to filter out the air so that any water collects down here. Should work out okay, I think. Uh, so far so good anyway. I've had it on there for a little while. Uh, and, uh, oh, I ordered an O-ring kit. You know, the most expensive thing I bought was the smallest thing I bought. So uh, on eBay I bought the um, the ultrasonic cleaner and the um, sandblast cabinet. And together they were almost um, half of what it cost me for the O-ring kit, which will come in an envelope. That I needed for the carburetors, so <laughs> figured that one. But it's on its way. Um, I just got to clean um, here. I'll show you. So I started this one before that died. You can see the crack in it. And when I went to lift it, it separated like that. So, uh, but I got all this to do, and just a ton of small parts. And then they got the other ones there. Um, and then there's a brake caliper. So here's the braking system on it. If you press the back brake, it does this rear brake in the front right. And then the handlebar brake only does the front left. It's called a shared brake system. I don't know. It's weird. I don't, why wouldn't you? If you're going to do that, why wouldn't you have the back brake just operate both? And maybe even the front brake do both. I, I, it just seems weird to me. <coughs> anyway, you can tell I cleaned up the frame and cleaning up the tire. I need to go over it again. There's like 30 years of grime on there. And at first I thought, oh, the paint's just pitted and crappy. It's not. It's actually coming clean pretty good. Um, you can see here it's coming pretty, de pretty clean. This here is just 30 years worth of gunk. So I picked up a different brush, a stiffer one, uh, with uh, <clears throat> better bristle, nylon bristles. So, um, But I've tried everything. Simple green, uh, super clean, um, some Meguiar's mag cleaner. Um, and it's taking all three of those just, you know, I mean, I could probably clean it up really good with some Scotch-Brite, but I don't want to ruin the paint finish, so... Um, but anyway, motor's ready. I need a battery. I need tires. Uh, need plates. Uh, hopefully that's all I need. Cause at this point I spent probably close to $1,500 on the bike between this, the spare bike and the gasket kits and whatnot. The alternator. <clears throat> um, uh, I need a new brake uh, rotor, but rear brake rotor, that one is just, its you can't even turn it down. It's The grooves are so deep. Um, unfortunately, this one does not fit. It's a different style. And a new one of those, or even, you know, not even made by Honda, just made, you know, just a generic rotor that will fit. It's like $200, so I'm going to see if I can find a good used one that, you know, I don't know, eBay or maybe I'll run down to the uh, state line to the um, bike just salvage yard I, I know of down there. See if I can scrape one up that's in really good shape. Um, but um, I think that's it. Um, yeah, sure, that's it. All right. Well, I just, that's the update. I You know, it's, I was hoping to have this bike going by now, but... The rate we're going, it's probably going to be another... Uh, if I get it running by fall, I'll be happy. Because I think at this point, it's what it's going to take. Um, I did replace the boots on the rear shocks with those. I'll show you the old ones. Yeah. These are the ones that came off of it. So figured I had them, so why not? These are The ones on here were in really good shape. Um, they're probably not long. Um, it probably won't be long before they're like those, but at least for now they're they're in decent shape. 
Um, but I got to get going. My wife went shopping, and I got to break down these boxes. I got to clean up this um, sandblast material. Um, like I said, the, this thing works great. Now, I'm going to keep it for outside use um, for big items. But for the small items that I that I usually get um, that I want to have sandblasted, they're usually small engine parts or motorcycle parts, occasionally some small car parts, um, I'll just use the bla sandblasting cabinet for that. Um, and then anything bigger that won't fit in the cabinet, um, I'll just use this behind the garage, and I'll get a big bag of media, because I'm going to need it for the cabinet anyway. And, you know... Uh, some you can recoup the media and put it back in here, and it'll work. I, I did it once here already. So, um, but if I'm doing it outside, it's gonna there'd be too much junk. So, but at least I can do bigger items if I need to. Um, I have a couple things I need welded. The guy next door has a stick welder. It'll work perfect for what I need, and um, I just I don't want to spend the time trying to wire a wheel the rust and whatever debris off of it so this weekend i'm going to hit it with this and i think it'll do a great job and he'll be able to weld it and i won't spend the whole afternoon trying to get the rust off it so i think it'll work great and um i should do it oh uh the other thing we had done we had the electrical redone so now in the garage it's on its own circuit it has a better circuit breaker well we still only have one circuit coming out here it, it's at least better. I can run my old compressor, and it doesn't kill the lights, which is what used to happen. Uh, it it will dim the lights, but once it runs, uh, you know, so it's just for a moment, and then it runs fine. So we're better. I want to get my own service panel out here at some point, but for now, this will do. Um, in fact, I could probably even get a small little AC unit and, I don't know, maybe put it there and... Uh, you know, keep the garage a little cooler. So, um, kind of looking at uh, Facebook Marketplace and some garage sales for the something like that I can use for that. Um, so, anyway, I'm rambling. That's enough. Have a good week, and thanks for watching.